Here, let me break it down. Yeah, I'm gon' make it now. Give me some time and you'll see me up on stage tonight. I'm working every day. I'm working hella late. I'm working cause it's worth it. Once you make it, then you play. Y'all never slowing down. I'm gonna own this time. Live by the saying that your time is lost but never found. Let's go another round. Make them give up the crown. Nah, I ain't playing, man. I'll take it so. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my third week of my cyclical keto, my carb cycling regimen that I am doing. If you don't know what I'm talking about, definitely go and check out week's one video because I go into all the details about the pros and cons of cyclical keto, why it might be beneficial for you, and why it may not be something. Something for you. So definitely go and check that out if you don't know anything about carb loading, carb, cy carb cycling, and cyclical keto. That will get you up to speed. OMG, y'all. So today is my Sunday long run day. If you watched last week's video, we were on vacation. The girl almost died on Perdido Beach Boulevard. It was a hot mess, but we made it through. And today I had my new carbohydrate for the week, which was a gala apple. So I ate an entire apple, as y'all saw, sliced it up. I put 20 grams of almond butter on top, and then we put one tablespoon of chia seeds and one tablespoon of hemp hearts and sprinkled cinnamon on top. You talk about flipping delicious. Now I will say, all right, truth y'all, truth. We keep everything 100% transparent here. The first 10 minutes after eating it, I felt like I could like knock somebody out. I had so much energy, but I like to let my carbohydrates pre-run digest about 30 minutes so they get into the glycogen of the muscles a little bit, but they start digestion pretty much. And then we can go and we can burn it off. Laura, what is going on with this camera? Y'all see how hot it is where I am? How humid, how muggy it is? Can't even film outside and this camera's been outside the entire time. What is my life? So we like to let our pre-workout little snack digest a little bit so we can use that energy and kind of burn it off and it doesn't actually get absorbed into the body if that makes sense you're using it for fuel basically just for your run to power you through and I'm gonna say the first 20 minutes of my run today sucked it sucked so bad like it's just mind over matter guys my body now can go like miles and miles like I honestly feel that way my mind though that is something that you always have to work on because I'm constantly saying you're tired you need to go back you know this is good enough you can stop and I'm like no why are you saying these things why are you thinking these thoughts when your body physically is able to do so much more so today I just pushed myself and then after about the 20 minute mark that's when the runner's high hit for me today and and it's like you just turn into a different person. It's like the beast mode kicks in. And I just like felt hella fierce. And I flippin' killed it today, as y'all saw. New personal best for me. The longest I've ever run without stopping. And it's like every time I get those new personal bests and I'm like, wow, seven and a quarter miles. We could have win eight. I'm that person that always wants to strive. And I'm that person that looks in the mirror and I compete with myself. I want to do better. I want to show up. I want to do better than the next time. And each Sunday, I am showing myself that. And I'm not proving anything to anybody. This is for me. For me to know that I can do more, that I am stronger than my mind is telling me. My body can physically do so much more. And these carb cycling days are definitely helping a girl out. So today, seven and a quarter miles. Like, who is she? I am like on cloud nine right now. I feel absolutely amazing guys i feel so good this way of eating carb cycling on sundays and then doing dairy free throughout the week and eating clean whole foods keto is helping me is it for everybody like i say in every one of these videos absolutely not but if you go and watch week one's video and any of those things pertain to you and you say man i want to try it out give it a shot it's worth it if those things fall in line with you i know a lot of people watching you're just watching for your future yourself so when you get to that particular goal you can come back and look at these videos and it will help you maybe decide if this is something for you that's why I'm putting these out there is to help anybody that's ready for it right now in their journey or anybody that wants to do it later on we did have our apple cider vinegar drink you want to hydrate right after running especially long runs and this is great because it has the apple cider vinegar in it all the health benefits that you want so I am just been out here kind of relaxing a little bit it's like almost eight o'clock we got up at five o'clock this morning definitely helped it being cooler running seven miles that was insane and I'm gonna go in and take a shower because I'm legit wet from head to toe like it is so
so muggy as y'all saw with the camera like fogging up and it's been in out here oh my gosh craziness and then i'm gonna bring you along with the rest of the day what we're gonna be eating i got a lot of new things that i'm trying today i'm super excited about new products and stuff that i want to share with you guys so come along with me to my third week of carb loading excited for it when you forget to take out your base culture cinnamon raisin bread out the freezer for your cyclical keto carb up day, you use this Louisiana heat to good use. So we're just gonna put it outside and it'll be um, thawed in no time, all right? So no worries, we gotta get this bread in today and it ain't gonna be frozen, that's for damn sure. Okay, so we just got out the shower. We are cleaned up because we were a hot sweaty mess. It's 8.30. I do have my compression socks on. I'm gonna leave these on for 30 minutes to an hour. Again, this is still the 10 pack variety or whatever I got. I'm still working through the different colors. You have all kinds that you can pick guys if you like want certain ones. They even have like holiday ones, it's crazy. So I'll have them linked down below. And then I wore the Ghost Brooks running shoes today for my seven and a quarter mile run. And I will tell you guys that my, on this foot, it started to rub along the side here, uh, probably about the last mile in where I feel like the adrenalines are more cushiony and more comfy for long runs. I think the ghosts are better for like, you know, three to five mile runs for me anyway. I'm just really loving the adrenalines as far as the cushion aspect, but I like the ghosts too. I feel like they are a little bit lighter of a shoe. If you're looking for a running shoe, guys, again, I am no expert on running and running equipment and stuff. I'm learning as I go, but I know Brooks is the best out there, one of the best out there, and I'm loving these two so, so much. And loving these compression socks. I really do feel like they make a difference post run, help circulation and help my legs feel better afterwards. So I wanted to test ketones post our long run, post our apple snack you saw this morning and the Bragg's apple cider vinegar drink, 0.7. So we are reading in ketosis even when having an entire apple and running. So this just shows me that, like I keep saying, my body's responding so well to this. Like, wow, mind blowing. I'm telling you guys, if this is where you need to be in your journey right now, definitely try it. It has been helping so much. So I wanted to test that before we dove into breakfast. I am legit starving after that freaking long run. So coffee's brewing. It is a peppermint nut pod. I have peppermint and I'm just loving like Christmas coffee in August. Like when y'all comment below if y'all like the peppermint flavor all year long. And I'm going to use the nut pods classic chocolate. This came with the toast and marshmallow off Amazon. So I'm trying to use it up. I am going to put it in my handy gadget over there. And this is breakfast. So I've got one of these purely Elizabeth's Kali hot cereal. So this is not granola guys. This is a cauliflower based breakfast, grain free. It is dairy free, gluten free, all that good stuff. And here are the macros on it. So it's 190 calories, 11 grams of fat, 17 total carbs. We've got five fiber, eight sugars and eight protein. So as far as ingredients go, there's your ingredients. So clean this brand. I am loving it. Recommended from Bobby from Flav City. Again, shout out to him. I love his videos. He's like the expert. I am trying the strawberry hazelnut for the first time from them. They have another one and they actually sent these to me to try. So thank you so much, Purely Elizabeth, but I'm going to be ordering them from Thrive Market and from Whole Foods because I can already tell that I'm probably going to love them. But it's basically like a granola substitute without getting the granola grains and then I've got some banana sliced up some sliced strawberries and then one teaspoon of chia seeds and that's it that's gonna be our breakfast bowl crows on this breakfast bowl with the base culture bread I almost forgot to tell you guys so I've got two slices of the cinnamon raisin bread by base culture love this stuff it's six net carbs per slice so you can incorporate this on your keto journey so clean with the ingredients I've mentioned them before so I am gonna toast that up I like it to be a little bit warm so with the bread with the bowl with my coffee 489 calories and 34 net carbs. And raisin bread, mock oatmeal with fruit and chia seeds and coffee with that chocolate foam. Let's get this down, I am hungry. As you can see, we killed breakfast because I was legit starving after that long freaking run. However, I wanna update you guys on this. This is the first time I've tried it. So I did it, they have different ways that you can cook it. I did the overnight oats way. So I filled it up with some almond milk and let it just sit. 
overnight. And I will say that it was pretty crunchy, but that's because you've got like the chia seeds and stuff in there. I would like to try it hot next time and see if it changes the texture any. It does taste a little plain to me. It's not super flavorful, even though it does have some coconut sugar in there, just FYI. It tasted amazing with all my fruit mixed in and with my chia seeds put on top, but just by itself, I'm not so sure as far as texture being kind of like granola or oatmeal, absolutely. So I will continue to purchase this and use this, but I think it is better when you add some other fillers to it. Now they do have a cinnamon maple one or whatever I need to try next time and I'll let you know which one I like the best out of the two that they sell. This brand also does sell some oats, so be careful when you're picking these up. If you're wanting to get the cauliflower one, make sure it says Kali Hot Cereal. They have a bunch of different ones that are actually oats. As always, I am taking my supplements. These are the supplements I take daily. I take two of those and a magnesium at night. Take my full serving of my grass-fed beef liver, and these definitely help a girl out. Always have a discount with Equip. Love their stuff, their protein powder, pre-workout, collagen. All the stuff, guys, is super clean, grass-fed, dairy-free, and you need it in your life because I feel like it makes a difference for sure. I love this company so much. Definitely recommend turmeric, guys. Y'all ask all the time what it's for. It fights inflammation in the body. So that's really good to incorporate in your foods or take as a supplement. And I take twice a day. Just got our stretch done because the hubby took the boys for a ride. So I was able to get a little 15 minutes of alone time before lunch. Who is she? I highly recommend stretching guys before and after your run. So if you're new to running, that's one thing I've done the entire time that I knew was essential for me, especially being a, uh, having these older hips and running these long miles, we gotta make sure we're taking care of everything, right? Stretching before is essential for me, so I stretch right after I eat my little pre-run, little snack and my pre-workout, and then I do a post win as well to make sure that we are recovering those muscles as well. This one is amazing, I'll have it linked down below for post running. I love the way she works out the hips and the legs. There's a ton of them on YouTube guys, but that one's my favorite currently post running stretching. Lunchtime. So on carb loading days, on cyclical keto days, you want to try to get, and I've been doing this on my regular days as well, but I'm trying to hit like 133 grams of protein per day. So you want your fat to be super low, your protein high and your carbohydrates high as well, or your protein the same as your body weight. So I have a salmon filet that I've doused it with the Redmond's organic lemon pepper. So I like using the lemon pepper for all my seafood. And then I've got, I don't remember how many ounces this is. I'll tell you guys in a minute, but it's a bunch of shrimp with the lemon pepper as well. And then the rest of the bag that I had of the shaved Brussels sprouts from Whole Foods before it goes bad, we're just going to eat them all. Since this is our carb loading day, we can do that. I'm just going to saute it all up in a pan and I'm going to actually put this in the broiler. Y'all ask all the time about the salmon, how I cook it. So I have the oven set to broil. I put just the Redmond's on here, no butter, no, no other fats. And we're gonna broil it for seven to 10 minutes, depending on your oven. So to my Brussels sprouts, all I did was put a ton of the regular Redmond's real salt on there and some pepper. And I just like to get a little char on that and cook it down a little bit before we plate it with the salmon and the shrimp. Here we have second meal of the day. We've got our salmon, 6.4 ounces of shrimp, and then eight ounces of Brussels sprouts with lots of Redmond seasoning and a little bit of parsley on top. This is 447 calories in 15 net carbs and all those net carbs are coming from the Brussels sprouts. So before we eat our second meal of the day, I wanna test ketones and we are coming in still at a 0.7 post everything you saw me eat prior to run, post that hellacious breakfast with the banana and all that stuff in there. Wow, okay, 0.7 before lunch. This is crazy. I don't even have words for it. I don't even have words to explain it. We've explained it before in the week one video. Just killer, just feeling fire and responding oh so well. Wow, blown away. Simple, delicious, a ton of food, y'all. So that it was a lot. It usually doesn't take the girl long to get through food on her normal keto days, but I feel like on cyclical keto days, it is a lot more quantity and it takes me a lot longer and slower to go through it. But we did it. We powered through. 
I will say Brussels, I would much rather them, you know, in a little bit of bacon grease and with some bacon bits rather than just plain, but I'm trying to keep the fats as super low today. And I'm like, girl, you can enjoy that on your regular week on keto because Brussels are definitely keto approved and you can have them that more fattier way, but we're just trying to do a highest carb, low, 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 low fat. I'm still working on it. I still don't have it where I exactly want it to be. Next week, I think I might get a little bit closer there, but we are trying. We are learning and I'm sharing with you guys, but I'm just floored that I am consistently at a 0.7 all day long. Three o'clock and it is snack time. So we are doing a smoothie and we put eight and a half ounces of almond milk. We did a scoop of the prime protein and the vanilla. We did exactly 52 grams of frozen berries. We did a tablespoon of flaxseed, a teaspoon of chia seeds, and we did 76 grams of banana. It was actually the banana that we had left over from breakfast. So I was like, I only had 50 grams put in originally, and I was like, we're not gonna let the rest of this banana go to waste. So we just put it all in, which was 15 net carbs for 76 grams of banana. But that's gonna be delicious, guys. Let's blend it up. I have to say, a banana just makes a smoothie, y'all. It just makes it so good. Smoothie was incredible. I've been featuring it in my regular keto vlogs too without the banana, and it's just as good if you add a little bit more berries for the sweetness since you're not getting it from the banana. Highly recommend, especially right now that it's hot as hell for summer. So refreshing, so good. So I'm gonna take you down and show you what I'm going to be making for dinner. However, I've gotten a lot of messages over on IG today since I've been posting my ketones in the moment over there. And a lot of people asking me the same question, asking if I'm taking BHBs or exogenous ketones. The answer to that is absolutely no. So I know a lot of people on cyclical keto or on carb cycling on those days where they're carving up, they're also taking exogenous ketones in hopes to keep their ketone levels high throughout the day while eating the carbs, kind of like counter at pro productive what they're doing. I'm not doing that. So you see that I've been reading at a 0.7 twice. I don't know if we're gonna keep reading that way, we'll see. But I am not taking anything for that number to read like that. So I'm eating the clean whole foods carbohydrates and still reading in nutritional ketosis without any supplements or any aids. So I don't take exogenous ketones even on my regular keto journey. Y'all know, most of y'all know how I feel about exogenous ketones. The only time I ever take the perfect keto base is when I'm fasting and I'm not fasting. I uh, haven't been fasting here lately. So that's the only time I suggest it. I don't suggest any of those programs and things like that. You do you out there, but I just don't believe that you need to take those things and spend the money on that to get in ketosis when you can do it the whole foods clean way at Walmart and not have to spend the extra money. So just like last week, I'm going in with the trusty sweet potato. Next week, I'm gonna do things a little bit differently throughout the day with the foods, but I've got two sweet potatoes here. I'm gonna weigh them up after they cook. I've poked holes in them and I put a little bit of olive oil just to coat them. And I've also put a little bit of Redmond's Real Salt on the top of them. And I'm gonna bake them uncovered. That worked out perfectly last week on 425 for one hour. And while they are baking, I'm gonna be making a homemade sloppy joe to stuff inside of the sweet potato. How good does that sound? We haven't had sloppy joes in a hot second. I usually make them from the Southern Keto Cookbook, but I'm doing um, a Pinterest recipe and I'll have this all linked down below for you guys. But let's go ahead and get these babies rolling. The potatoes only have about 20 minutes left, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my sloppy joe mixture ready. So I am happy in this recipe because it yields four potatoes and I only need one for me and the hubby and it's back to strict keto tomorrow. So I don't wanna have leftovers that will go to waste. So I've half the recipe. So I got half a pound of my grass-fed, grass-finished beef from Sam's Club, tomato sauce, tomato paste, some frozen, not frozen, onions. Lord, this boy in the background. Frozen bell pepper that I chopped up that I saved from fresh. I've got a white onion I just chopped up some apple cider vinegar, cumin, paprika, garlic powder, and Dijon mustard is all you need to make your sloppy joe mixture. I put about a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil in my pan, and I always forget the garlic because it's in our outside refrigerator, but I am gonna put a teaspoon of garlic, minced garlic in here with the onions first and saute that down. I only cooked the onions about three minutes just to get them translucent. Now I've added my half pound of ground beef. I'm gonna cook this down and then literally add everything else and let it simmer for about 10, 15 minutes. And we're done. Got everything in there, putting the lid on, 10 to 15 minutes simmering, and then the potatoes will be ready to come out too. Perfect timing. So just a little hack. I don't know if y'all are like me, but any recipe I ever make, it only calls for like a teaspoon of tomato paste or a tablespoon 
never an entire can, and we usually just put it in the fridge and then it gets moldy and it goes to waste. So what I did today is I went ahead and measured up tablespoon portions. I put it on a piece of parchment. I'm gonna put this in the freezer and let them like freeze individually. And then I'm just gonna put them in a freezer bag and label them as tomato paste tablespoons. So when I have a recipe and it only calls for like one or two tablespoons of tomato paste, I can just pop out the frozen ones and not have to waste another like dollar and whatever on this. I know that sounds minuscule, but I hate wasting stuff and that's just gonna be convenient already frozen in my freezer with some of my other like chopped up veggies. I've been doing that and it's been saving us money and also saving us time with putting these things in our cart and forgetting because I forget like these little things like this all the time. Y'all, are you seeing this? What the actual heck? So that was like so easy, but it looks so bougie and fancy. I don't know how it tastes. I will let you guys know, but man, does that look good? And that's a ton. Like I was afraid this wasn't gonna be a lot cause I'm not doing any other veg or anything on the side. But dang, that's a lot of food. This is almost three hours after the smoothie. The smoothie did have a hellacious amount of banana in it, but we ate banana this morning and y'all saw before lunch, we came in at a point seven. However, we had a ton of protein at lunch. And if you watch me for a long time, not necessarily carbohydrates lower my ketones, tons of protein, but the protein makes me feel good. So it's like a catch 22, right? So we are at a point two prior to dinner. I'm gonna test my ketones one more time, three to four hours after we eat this, just so you guys know, um, but know that it has dropped, but that's okay. Cause I know I'm not completely kicked out, which is amazing. Just like last week's carb cycle. And also we've been reading ketosis majority of the day with eating high amounts of clean carbohydrates. So that is absolutely incredible. But I am gonna test them again. OMG, sloppy Joe stuffed sweet potatoes for the win. So like y'all see this, the girl doesn't play. I ate my whole potato. I mentioned that last week, guys. In any potato, whether it's fruits, vegetables, whatever, you wanna eat the skin because so many nutrients are found in the skin with apples, you know, anything that's edible with the skin. Let's be real. Eat the skin on the potatoes. So flipping good. I made sure to wash them. Don't get crazy. That was delicious. Like you wouldn't think that the sweet from the sweet potatoes and the savory from the sloppy joe would pair well together, but it so did. That was so delicious and I am stuffed. I am so, so full guys. Cyclical keto, carb cycling day three, week three under wraps. I got leg day tomorrow. I'm super excited to hit that at home tomorrow. I'm gonna kill it. I'm feeling so energized, even though we're reading at a point two guys. Oh my gosh, this is just serving me so well. Y'all saw ketones throughout the day. You saw all the clean whole foods that we were eating today. The long freaking run. I am just obsessed with all this right now. And I hope it continues to stay this way for a while because I'm loving this chapter in my health journey so much. You do what's best for you out there, guys. Whatever chapter you are in in your health journey, do what's best for you. Just take information, learn, educate, grow from it, and then make it fit you and your health journey out there. Macros today, we went hard. So we did 184 total carbs, 50 of that was fiber. 71 fat, I'm trying to get in the 50 range, okay? So I'm trying to get in the 50 grams of fat range. Super hard with some of the things I'm trying to do and incorporate and being in that keto mindset with the high fat. But we did better this week than we have the two prior weeks as far as the fat, we're getting lower. 134 protein, which that is close to my weight. We did good on calories, 1943. Remember we burned over a thousand with that run, so that's insane. We've got 132 net carbs. That's what we did today. So I've been doing about 100, 115 the past couple weeks. First week was 100. Second week was like 115, I think, and now we're at 132. So it seems like when I'm plugging stuff in, the 132 net is where we're gonna be with doing sweet potatoes, bananas, now apples incorporated and stuff like that. And I'm totally fine with that because as you saw, we're reading in ketosis, majority of the day I'm feeling fire. I need that glycogen for the week with doing some runs throughout the week, the long run coming up arm day, leg day, we need it guys. And I am responding and feeling absolutely phenomenal. So this was week three in the books, done. So I'm about to go and get in bed, but I wanted to test ketones post the sweet potato dinner and we're still at a point two. So that's awesome. So just like the prior week where we stayed at point three throughout the entire day after every meal, today was a little bit better because we read in ketosis, nutritional ketosis, 
most of the day. And then after our snack, probably that smoothie is what probably lowered my ketones, but we are staying the same because the sweet potato meal was like almost 40 net carbs, guys, and we're still at a 0.2, not even reading errors. So that is amazing. I'm gonna test first thing in the morning or after my workout and see where we are the day after. But we're gonna use all these carbohydrates to good use tomorrow. Yeah, I'm gonna work hard, play hard. Yeah, I play my first card, ace hard. Yeah, they know I play smart, play hard. We don't have the same star, we don't have the same cards. Yeah, it's not the hand that you dealt. Nah, it's how you prove it to yourself. Nah, you don't need any wealth. You gotta live your life, work hard, and excel. Yeah, don't be looking for their help. Look inside of yourself for the wealth. Keep your mind and your body in good health. And keep working for nobody but yourself. Yeah, you can make it one day. Don't be listening to what anybody say. They got the wrong state of mind, okay? Most of the time, they won't help anything. Make it somehow. I'm gonna keep my head down. I'm gonna keep my head down. I ain't gonna stop now. I ain't gonna stop now. Got no time to have doubts. Got no time to have doubts. I'm gonna make it somehow. I'm gonna keep my head down. on a leg day guys don't skip out on it oh my gosh so I wanted to bring y'all into the next day kind of like I did last week's cyclical keto vlog just to show you like how I'm feeling if I'm bloated the next day like update because that's where I get a lot of questions in these videos and over on Instagram is how are you feeling the next day how are you feeling that night type of thing and if I just close it off you're not gonna know those things. So I'm gonna roll these videos into Mondays from now on. So I am feeling fire, guys. I just killed that leg day. That was a really intense leg day. I will have it in the description box down below. It's a new one. I like to make new ones every two weeks and then circle them through. And that one was super, super intense. However, I feel like I had no issues with it. Now I know it was intense because y'all see me sweating, you see me out of breath. But when I was going through them, I felt so strong. I felt like I could do more reps. I did, I even adjusted some of my original playlist for the leg day, if you will, because as I was doing, I was like, I can do more. I have more energy. We can go further than what I originally thought. And man, it is because of the extra carbohydrates, I'm telling you. So if you're in the journey, at your keto journey, your health journey, where you think you need a little extra in the gym or for your workouts, guys, this is definitely helping, but you need to do your workouts consecutively, your hard ones, like the next couple of days. So I'm doing legs today, I'm gonna do arms tomorrow, and then Wednesday we're gonna go for another like three mile run, Thursday core, Friday run three miles, Saturday yoga, Sunday seven, I'm gonna shoot for eight miles this Sunday, I know, who is she? But I am working out like a beast, so I am using these carbohydrates to good use. I'm not sitting around, I'm not going to the donut shop and getting donuts for my carbohydrates y'all see it's all clean whole foods and it is delicious and it is fueling my body and serving me so well so definitely go and check out week one cyclical keto video guys if you don't know what i'm talking about if you need more information to see if this is right for you but we just killed legs i feel freaking fire we're gonna go on with a protein coffee i'm not gonna take you through my entire day and i could have kicked myself and they because I wanted to test my ketones this morning for you guys and I like to wake up about an hour and I went and dropped Waylon off at preschool today was his first day at preschool I know these times so cute his teacher was all dressed up and welcoming oh my gosh it was so adorable but anyway I digress I wanted to test my ketones when I got back from dropping him off and I totally forgot and halfway through my workout I was like girl you forgot to test your ketones so they are always lower after workout just FYI guys even if you are not doing cyclical keto or not your ketones are always lower because you're using those ketones for energy during your workout but I'm gonna test them maybe prior to lunch just so you can see where I am at the next day remember we ended point two last night and that was before dinner and after the sweet potato so that was pretty fire in my opinion let's go get some coffee like the girl needs anymore right now if you follow me you already know it's in my protein coffee as of late I've been switching it up and just keeping it basic so I have a cup of coffee that I brewed last night this is the community two times caffeinated the best protein powder that you can get out there is by equip it is like grass fed 
It is zero everything. It is just minimal ingredients. It is dairy free, all that good stuff. So I like the vanilla. I like the chocolate too, but y'all know I'm a vanilla girl. If you follow me, if you're new, you may not know. One scoop of that. And then we're also just going to put in a ton of cinnamon. So cinnamon is a metabolism rever guys, and it also fights inflammation in the body. So I like to put a lot of that in there for flavor and all the health benefits as well. I've had the questions with, do I count this as carbs? Hex to the no, we don't count anything as from that as carbs. That is like goodness right there. You don't need to do that with certain things, guys. Certain things, yes, you need to count carbs, but like it is minuscule, minuscule, and it's so good for you. Putting the lid on this, blending it up and adding some ice over top, and that is it. For breakfast, I am having some Lakanto Cinnamon Almond Crunch Granola. So I use this as cereal here lately, and this is only 62 grams. It's not a lot, as you can see. 36 grams of sliced strawberries, one tablespoon of chia seeds. I've just been loving chia seeds and hemp hearts in like my smoothies, cereals, whatever, just to get in that extra nutrition wherever you can is amazing. And then I'm going to put 6.2 ounces of almond milk from Whole Foods in here. And that's going to be breakfast. That's it. Light and simple. But I just wanted to show you the breakfast that I'm having post carb up day. Super light after a protein coffee, just keeping it clean keto and keeping it under the 25 net carbs is my 5% for carbohydrates for the day. It is one o'clock. I'm testing ketones y'all post my cyclical keto day. Y'all saw we ended at a 0.2 last night and I'm already back at 0.8 back in ketosis the very next day. Whoa, Nelly. Like this is just such a wake up call to me. Like my body needs this so much. And again, I keep stressing this isn't for everybody. Just make sure if you're trying this, it's where you need to be in your journey. You do you out there, but oh my gosh, I cannot feel better guys. I felt like fire today and I cannot be more happier. Oh my God. I'm just in shock. I'm in shock at Every time I test ketones, at how I feel, my runs, the foods, everything, I'm just mind blown. So that's crazy. Let's talk about lunch. So I've got half an avocado and I went ahead and weighed everything up. I'm just trying to be as precise as possible so I make sure to get the right nutrition with working out like a beast right now. 41 grams of avocado, three Vital Farms eggs, half a cup of mushroom ragu that I made the other night. I didn't want it to go to waste. It was delicious. So I had just enough for a portion of that and 6.7 ounces of 93.7 grass-fed, grass-finished ground beef from Sam's Club. Oh my gosh, big power bowl going down at one o'clock and we're probably gonna do a cherry cola zevia as well. All right, so carb loading day three, week three in the books feeling fire today. I'm really thinking that going into Monday with these vlogs is going to help put perspective in how this is working for me and my body and how it can be beneficial to you out there. So y'all let me know down below if you like the full day Sunday of the actual cyclical keto day and then into the next day so you can see how I'm feeling, if I had any responses to any foods. I will tell you that I got on the scale yesterday morning of the carb loading day and I weighed 133 and this morning before I worked out and took my pre workout, I weighed 132. So again, every day that we do the carb loading days, I am losing, which y'all know I'm trying to gain lean muscle at this point, but I'm just doing that to like experiment and show you guys that you don't have to have the stigma like, oh, I'm going to get so bloated. I'm going to gain five pounds in a day. I've had so many people send me messages like that. But if you are eating the right clean carbohydrates, you're not going to see that happen. Your body's going to respond in such a great way. I cannot believe we are already at 0.8 on the keto coach today, the very next day. And like I said, I was killing it on my leg day today. I felt so strong, so like long endurance. I could have went forever. I'm just loving this clean way of eating throughout the week, keeping it under 25 net carbs, eating my weight and protein basically. And on Sundays, just eating the cleanest whole foods, carbohydrates we can going on these long hellacious runs. I'm feeling the best and the healthiest I have felt in my entire life. I hope these videos are helpful guys. If they are, please give it a huge thumbs up. That lets me know that you're enjoying this content here on my channel. And if you are new here, make sure to go watch my motivational Mondays playlist because it is my keto journey from almost two years ago. I have such great information in those videos on keto if you're just starting. And if you are, have you been doing keto and you want to know about these cyclical keto videos, this is my third video I'm posting and I will be posting these every single Thursday here on my channel to 
educate, motivate, and inspire you guys on this type of keto and this type of health journey going forward. And we're going to be doing dairy free over on the Motivational Monday video. So make sure that you're subscribed and make sure that all the bells and whistles are clicked down below so you don't miss any of that goodness from me. Thank y'all so much for watching. Y'all let me know down below what you're thinking about carb cycling. So if you are like on the fence on doing it, let me know like where you are in your journey and like what issues are like doubts you're having about carb cycling. Comment down below. We'll talk about and converse there. But I can tell you that so far, so good. I don't want to jinx anything, but I am loving this way of eating and I'm so excited to show you week to week how we're responding. Again, thank y'all so much for watching. Y'all have an amazing day out there. Stay healthy. Keep it whatever health journey you're on. Compete with yourself. Break your own records. Show up. Do the damn thing. I believe in you. We'll see you in the next video. Bye, y'all. I know just what I'm capable of. You can leave if that's not enough.